Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about Jira Product Discovery, a pretty new tool in the Atlassian ecosystem. And I'm going to be showing you how to take an idea and put it in motion, put it into the delivery mode, so to say, in a little bit more advanced way than, th that th than this interesting tool allows you to do. This video is part of our effort to deliver high quality learning materials in terms of Jira, Confluence, Jira Product, delivery apparently as well, and all the other apps and products surrounding the Atlassian ecosystem. If you want to support this effort, then consider subscribing to the channel. And of course, remember, you can always reach out to us for paid services that we do offer in those areas. And now back to Jira Product Discovery. What is this tool? Maybe this is your first time hearing about it. Well, Atlassian basically created this tool to allow you to follow your ideas funnel in a more structured way. So I've been working with this area, let's, let's call it, for a very long time. I've been working many years ago in a bank. It was I've been there for six years and some of that time, actually quite a big chunk of the time, I've spent at least part-time working on um, structuring the ideas funnel, the um, new initiatives funnel, so that we can take all the initiatives, all the new brand ideas that from the people inside the bank, structure them somehow, prioritize them, and then the best of them will get the chance to go to the delivery as long as there are resources for them, right? So there is a process, and this is the process that exists in many of the companies. We've, we're working with many clients that have these kind of requests uh, for, for us as well. And because we work very often in delivering the project management capabilities and tools in class, in, inside the Atlassian ecosystem, this is very often part of the delivery. So that's why Jira product discovery sparked our interest and we definitely wanted to take a look at the tool itself and see how it can help us and our customers to kind of manage this um, ideas funnel in a better way. So let's take a look at it and let's see what it has to offer. I'll give you a quick overview, but then I'll show you how to actually take an idea from over here and put it into uh, motion, put it into the delivery mode so that we can actually quickly start working on it as a company. Because um, just, just getting the idea over here, I feel like it's not a very big deal, but actually making it work later on and having the statuses is a much more interesting part of it. Um, I'm going to just skim from the for the tool today, but we're probably going to be having a few more videos regarding the Jira product discovery, so don't worry too much about uh, the lack of content in regards of the details of the tool itself, all right? Awesome. All right, so let's take a look at the screen. We are currently in a project that has been created as a Jira discovery demo, and we have a bunch of ideas over here. So we are looking at all ideas listed, and as you can see, there are several columns. Uh, the most interesting ones are probably goals. So which goal does the idea correspond to? Uh, where, where the idea is on the roadmap? So which, which ideas are planned for now? Which ideas for, are planned for next? Someday later, right? We also have a status over here, and as you can see, all of our ideas are in the same status, so not much has been happening over here. Now, you can switch to several different views over here, and I will, again, quickly go through them because they are quite interesting. The impact assessment allows you to assess the impact. You can set the goal here, the impact manually. You can provide insights that are kind of uh, insightful ideas regarding the, the entry that you have over here. Um, there are also some automatically calculated fields over here that, that take weighted values from different things. You can mark which customers the idea uh, is uh, connected to so and what effort, for example, is connected with, these, with this idea. So these kind of things. Then you have a chart with impact versus effort. So we're going to be coming back over here. Then a simple roadmap of, of uh, what we're going to do now, what's next, what's someday, what we want to do. Um, then there is a plan for team one, team two, and what is going to be involved uh, in this plan. And then there is a delivery delivery sheet that kind of lists the idea again. And here you can mark whether the specs are ready, where the design is ready, and what is the delivery progress. So we will be coming to this one still. So um, this is 
in essence, what it looks like very, very quickly. And I think it's quite simple and quite powerful at the same time because it gives you most of the tools that you actually need while going through scoring those ideas. And it gives you some kind of capabilities of actually doing this. So now what I want to show you is that if you, if you go to, for example, impact assessment over here, I have this project over here, Pat the Cat, okay? And we are going to be using this one. So what I did is I made this project look like super important. So it has a goal impact of five points and it has three insights. Therefore, the impact score is 100, whatever that means. If you actually look over here, it will tell you that the impact score is weighted based on goal impact and insights. So because it has three insights as much as any um, other uh, idea on the list, it scored, it, it gets maximum scores for that. That's why it's 100% impact score. And now we, if you go to impact versus effort, the chart that we have over here, our uh, idea pat the cat will be scored over here, which is awesome, right? Because it's low effort and super impact. So these are exactly the projects we want to do first. So that's why we're going to be doing this project moving forward. So let's go to delivery and let's assume that pat the cat have uh, uh, have already been um we we've already done the specs we've already done the designs and we are actually ready to launch this product or idea so what this tool is asking you to do is it tells you basically that you should now create an epic which will represent this idea and will aggregate all kinds of work that are needed to deliver this idea all the way to the end and, uh, and and then close it. So that's why over here you can create a delivery ticket. But what if you're not working that way? What if you would like to use this funnel, not though for, for those smaller ideas that can be represented as epics, but for example, for your projects, for your projects that you will be launching uh, in, in a longer time frame. Let's say that it's not an epic, but it's actually a bigger endeavor, right? Let's imagine that. So what would you do in that case? Well, in that case, here is what you could do if you are using, for example, Big Picture or a similar tool for man managing projects inside the Jira environment. So I will go now to Big Picture and inside Big Picture, I will find the portfolio of my web projects because Pat the Cat is also going to be a web project. So we will be we, I will be adding it to my portfolio. So. If I search for my portfolios, web apps portfolio, that's the one I'm interested in. And you will see that I have over here four projects. It's just a demo of, of uh, something. And then we also have a project template. Actually, it's super easy to hide the template. And I have it uncovered because I have been playing with it previously to prepare for this video. But I could, for example, do it like this. And then my template is gone and I only see my projects. I can go, go to the timeline. I can see how they are beautifully structured in time and how they are overlapping. What are the dependencies between them kind of, right? So now what I want to do is I want to add a new entry over here that will allow me to um, create a project and, and start it for Pat the Cat. So what I mean by that is that this project isn't starting from scratch, but we actually have a template that we want to use that will allow us to kick off with um, the work that we want to do inside this web app project, Pat the Cat. So let's do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to Let's go back to the hierarchy view is I'm going to grab our web project one and I'm going to say duplicate the config. Actually, let's duplicate the configuration of our of our template. So let's do this and let's say over here that it's actually going to be web project five. Pat the cat, right? Um, the duration I will leave it as, as it is. Uh, the icon I will change to the web because I'm using it in one of my filters. And for Jira project, I will say that we want to use the Pat the Cat project, which I've created earlier. So I'm cheating a little bit over here. So let's do this. Perfect. Big picture is giving us a new entry over here, Pat the Cat. We can now get rid of the template again because we don't need it. Voila. And we have, again, the list of uh, our entries. Now, our web project five, Pat the Cat, 
as you can see over here, is empty because we didn't um, add any tasks over here. But let's say that all of our projects are starting in a very similar way and there is a structure to it, right? So if there is a structure to it, I can go over here and I can clone the scope of my template and I can add it to pat the cat. There you go. So this process now will take a while. Depending on how many issues, Jira issues, you have in the template, it can take even several minutes. So I'm not sure how fast it will be over here because I actually haven't tested it before, but I'm assuming it should be less than a minute. Another interesting fact is that the page will not refresh itself, so you have to refresh it yourself. So let's see how Big Picture is doing so far. I'm going to refresh the page and see the result. And there you go. So I actually had to wait a little bit longer than just the first refresh, but the end result is what you can see over here. So I have a bunch of tasks that have been imported into my newly started web project 5, Pat the Cat. And I'm assuming that this is my starting point now. I've, I can, of course, now grab those tasks, work on them, rename them if I want to, change the duration, change their dependencies, although, as you can see, the old dependencies coming from the template are, are already here, so that's pretty awesome. I can change their estimates. So if you will go to time tracking, you will see that my original estimates on those tasks are also there, which is pretty, pretty awesome. And this is a basically process that you have to go through. It's super quick and super easy to start working on the idea that actually transfers or tra translates from the idea phase to the execution phase. Okay, but how does it actually connect with Jira Discovery Demo? Can it connect if we go sideways like this? It's a little bit sideways, isn't it, right? Because we actually didn't create the delivery task over here, and therefore our um, Jira product discovery will not show us the progress of this of this project but um, first of all you don't have to measure the progress over here so you can use this tool for the ads funnel but if you go to the execution phase you can have another place where you follow the projects that are in the execution phase so that's one thing that you, that you can do uh, another thing that could be do could be done over here is a little bit of a hack is something like this so you can go here and you can create a new ticket for pat the cat and we're actually going to create it in, uh, in Pat the Cat project. So Pat the Cat, this one. And let's make it an epic. Let's call it Pat the Cat Aggregation Epic. And voila, our ticket has been created. So now if we go back to our project in the picture, I probably should have kept it open in a separate tab. That would have been a little bit faster, but no matter, we can find it quickly, uh, even going like this. So we're just going to use the search over here, pat the cat, there it is. And if we go inside to take a look at our Gantt chart, our epic should be somewhere here, probably at the bottom. There it is, right? So that's our epic. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this epic to the top. There you go. And I'm going to drop it right here at the top. Now I'm going to just collapse everything and expand just the first level. And I'm going to say now, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to say now that all of the tasks below this epic will become children of that epic. So I'm going to indent them under the epic all right and again i have to wait a moment because now big picture is connecting though all of those jira issues to the epic through the epic link which is awesome because that's exactly what we want so we we need to wait for this bar to uh, go to or actually to stop progressing and for this hierarchy to change so that the epic actually now is apparent of everything else, which is exactly what we have right now. So if I collapse the epic, there is nothing, uh, nothing else on this level. And if I expand it, everything is under the epic now. Perfect. And now, just to show you that the progress will be visible over there, I will switch to Agile maybe. I need status column, basically. There you go. We have status over here. 
and I will say that this task is done. I will say that this task is done. And I will say that this task is done just for the sake of the example. And now let's go back to Jira Discovery Demo Project and let's see if we can actually see something in the delivery. So there you go. If we hover our mouse over here, we can see that three out of 52 tickets are already completed. So with this little trick, you can even measure the progress of your whole project while uh, going through Jira uh, product discovery, which is, you know, a choice. You don't have to do it, but you can do it. Also, another thing that I want to mention that might be quite interesting is that if you don't want to use Jira product discovery, it's also not that difficult to actually create the ideas funnel inside the Jira software, Jira core itself. We've been doing it for many years so far without Jira product discovery being on the market available. So it's definitely doable. And uh, it's kind of it, the, the effort that is needed to implement it kind of de depends on the requirements. But all in all, it shouldn't be too complicated. So if you want to discover that and talk more about it, I encourage you to drop us a note or call us and uh, let's talk about how we can help you in this area. If you want to learn more about Big Picture, which is an amazing tool for project management inside the Atlas ecosystem, we are also experts in this tool. So again, drop us a note or give us a call and we can talk about the training options, the product implementation options, whatever is needed inside this area. And with this, it will be all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked it, consider giving it a like, subscribing to the channel. And of course, if you want to also drop a comment just for the algorithm so that other people have it easier finding this video, that would be awesome as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you in one of the next videos.